So that brings us to the final option we have for creating our stock for our setup, and that is to create the stock using a solid body. So here I have two solid bodies. Uh, I'll shut off stock one, and you'll see here's what the finished part is going to be. And in this example, we're going to mill out these pockets and put the chamfer all the way around the edge of this part. Um, we're going to use the lathe to actually turn it down to the final size and uh, dimension for height. And then we'll use the lathe to put on these cham uh, the chamfers in the fillets and uh, maybe drill an undersized hole through there. So that's things that the lathe is really good at. And if you don't have any live tooling in the lathe, then you're going to have to move this apart like this to a mill to finish off your secondary operation. So what I can do, I'll turn this back on. Uh, so what I did to create this is I just took that... Um, the mill part you saw and started deleting features off of there until I got to a uh, spun profile shape that you would then take over to a lathe. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. So I'm in the cam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a setup and what I want I'm still going to leave it as milling. I'm going to set the model orientation, the WCS orientation by clicking on the stem of the arrow and then a face I want to be normal too. So now I have my ZY X set where I want to. It grabbed the center point, which is exactly what I want. I'll tell it what the model is. Now what I'm gonna do, how I'm going to do that is I'm gonna hover my model, my mouse over and I'm gonna left click and hold. And now you're gonna see I have two bodies. And so when I go over the second body, see how it's grabbing the edge, that's the stock. If I click on the first one. So there's the, there's it figured out that that's the model and so we're pretty well set here so we're going to go to stock and from for our, our stock mode we're going to choose from solid and it wants to know what our solid is so now in this case i'm going to go ahead and select that and everything is now set all the options went away um it just it read in the solid and said oh there's the there's our stock body that we're going to use so if we go ahead and click ok i'll come over and i'm going to shut the stock off and you can see when we hover our, over our setup two that we get the pale outline of where our stock actually is. So now you can see the parts that you need to machine. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is mill out these pockets, put the chamfer all the way around the part, and clean up this hole up here a little bit. So that's how you can leverage a solid body instead of having to uh, instead of having Fusion think that there's all this stock around here we can use the solid body to say hey this is here's our part here's our stock this is the things that we need to machine off of here and you're not going to waste a bunch of time cutting air so i hope that was helpful that wraps us wraps up all the different stock options that we have uh, if you have any questions leave them below in the comments um love to hear from you guys thanks for taking the time to watch